Hey guys, what's up? It's Melko Zonky. So I did achieve the completion escape today. Um, actually only about half an hour ago at the time of recording this commentary. It'll probably be about a half hour upload or so. So uh, whenever you see it, I achieved completion escape. So for all of you, for all of those of you that came, thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. There is quite a turnout. Probably a ha at least 40 people or so came, which was a lot of people you know so thanks a lot for coming and uh, I know there's a lot of people that wanted to come but couldn't and I'm sorry about that that's just kinda how it works sometimes but at least you have this video to fall back on um, so this is the final episode of my road to completion escape and as just about every single person in my friends chat has asked me today what am I going to do next um, well if you didn't know I do have a series going on right now called uh, road to one bill slayer tab so that's what I'm gonna be working on next um, I do love Slayer. It's by far my favorite skill in the game, although I do like farming a lot too, but Slayer is the top spot, definitely. That's my favorite skill. So that's what I'm going to be working on, and actually, you know, going for 200 mil. And someone opened a barrel of monkeys. I didn't even notice that um, during the uh, video. I was, I don't know what I was doing, but I wasn't paying attention. But I just now noticed that someone opened a barrel of monkeys. So that was pretty cool. Uh, those were on the School of Fortune a long, long time ago. Um, but anyway, the particles in Completion Escape were kind of glitched, which was weird. It wasn't showing the particles, so it just looked like a max cape. So that was a bit unfortunate, but oh well. Um, but anyway, I did buy a bond, which was 5 mil, and uh, I used that to keepsake my Completion Escape. Uh, you have to do it in a bank, which I do later. I do it off camera, but yeah, um, I keepsaked it, and I got an additional Completion Escape, so I spent overall... Um, 15.5 mil on this, uh, which I don't know if it, that was a very good idea, but oh well. So now, like when I dungeoneer or when I have to wear a different cape for some reason, I'll still my character will still be wearing a completionist cape, which is what I wanted mostly for dungeoneering. Um, but anyway, so I did get that completionist cape. I'm going to be working on Slayer next, going for 200 mil Slayer because I love Slayer a lot. And the thing is, um, I can't really skill until I get 200 mil Slayer because anytime I try to skill I pretty much just say I'd really rather be slaying right now and then I say screw it I'm just gonna go slay so uh, I'm just gonna you know say hey you know I enjoy Slayer so much it always drags me away from the other things that I should be doing because I'd rather slay so you know what I'm going to slay and uh, that's what I've decided to do and there we got the particles the sexy particles there but anyway uh, yeah I am currently 43 million Slayer XP, so almost a fourth of the way there, I guess. I used the Taskmaster mode by accident here. Uh, I always get fooled because there's like a cape in the Taskmaster mode, so you think it's like the cape emote, but it's not. Um, it might take me quite a while to get 200 mil Slayer because um, it is very possible to get like a million plus Slayer a day. You don't even have to play all day to do it. You can get a million Slayer a day in like um, nine hours of play, eight hours of play if you're really efficient. But I'm not going to be doing that, and the reason why is because I'm trying to get as much XP and profit as possible uh, while slaying, and I also will be working on guides and stuff in the meantime, so I'll be spending several hours uh, each week working on guides, which will take away from Slayer time, which is fine, I'm not complaining about that, I enjoy making guides. Um, but it's just not like I'm going to be able to be super efficient. So I do like to uh, get as much profit as possible while slaying as well, because there's not really a whole lot of other ways to make decent money per hour um, other than PVMing and it's kinda hard to PVM with crappy internet so um, yeah we'll see how that goes but yeah Slayer time so I hope you guys are looking forward to that uh, a lot of you guys enjoyed the um, DPS testing I did yesterday where I tested out the difference between magic melee and range I know it wasn't a 100 percent accurate test but people gave me some ideas and other stuff to test and so I will be doing some more of that DPS testing stuff um, and other than that and skill guides I will also be doing like slayer guides kinda of showing you guys um, how to achieve the maximum money per hour how to achieve the maximum XP per hour uh, stuff like that during slayer so for you guys that want to make money I'll show you how to do that for you guys that want to get as much XP per po possible per hour I'll show you got how to do that and I'll show you how to not screw yourself over if you're going for 200 mil slayer because you can pull a drum gun and have uh, 200 mil in all combat stats, like 100 mil Slayer, and get really screwed. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully to see you again soon on my channel, and farewell.